Hey everybody, now we're going to recap the 2015 BFE GP at High Plains Raceway in Deer Trail, Colorado. Yeah, Deer Trail, Colorado always has spectacularly horrible weather. It's gorgeous for about 12 hours and then there is a hailstorm, lightning, there is a tornado. This time, fabulous all weekend long and I am sure that the people of Denver did not suffer for it later. And also at this race, there was a puppy, and we had a record. A record of what sort? Well, every single registered team that showed up, which was all of them, yeah. finished at least 46 laps, which totally is unprecedented. incredible accomplishment by the field. Well done. Yes. We also had a record. There were two mid-engine Renaults. That never happened. It was like Group B, 1982. There was a Le Car with an Infinity motor, and there was, what was that, a 4CV with a Fox motor. BW why do Fox. Why do people do that? And we had a special award at this race called the Least Bad MR2. Which was now, a very low bar. Yeah, and the, the award was specific to this race, but it's really a global thing in Lemons. MR2s are awful, which Terrible. is weird because Terrible. normally on the street, they're totally fine cars. Now, so the MR2 is like the number one prime example of the car that you think is going to be great, and it, it is, is in fact awful, mm. but awful. The polar opposite of which is the Alfa Romeo Milano. Everybody thinks it's going to be just atrocious and yeah. a horror yeah. on a lemons track. Runs like a train. Pretty damn good. Yeah. Then there's that third category of cars that are totally awesome everywhere, according to really stupid people. Heroic Fix went to Salty Thunder Racing, their Pontiac Fiero, and their motor blew up. According to them, it was because they took the motor to the worst machine shop in Salt I'm Lake City. I'm sure that their assembly had no nothing to do with oh, it yeah, at all. Oh, yeah, totally not. No, they were excellent. Uh, so they looked at the standings. They're in dead last. They realized they needed 20 laps to get out of the totally bottom spot on the roster, and so that became their goal for the rest of the weekend. Now, they thrashed and they thrashed and they got the motor running terribly. Yeah, like on two cylinders. Yeah, and not only did they finish 21 laps, they finished 40 laps, which was enough to finish third from DFL, yeah. so well done, Heroic. Yeah, I got screwed trophy, went to the Little Lebowski Urban Achievers, you've heard about them before. Now, these guys, they've got a lot of second place, third place, they're always right in the hunt. They have never, ever sealed the deal. They figured it out, they said, we're going to go to Denver, it's a small race, fewer than 50 cars, we will dominate and they did not dominate. What happened to them? I, they were winning, and then their suspension, or their engine, or their transmission, or something. The critical piece here yeah. is that they failed to win. They are the New York Yankees of failure. Yeah, also known as the Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> Judge's Choice went to this team. Yet another Back to the Future theme. Not the one that won the race. Yeah. Uh, it's the BMW, and they had all kinds of fuel system problems and this and that. And we take fuel system problems seriously. So, you know, we tell them, you guys got to get this right. It can't leak and do any weird stuff and catch you on fire and all that. And normally when teams, when we tell them that, they say, oh, I don't know. This is such a horrible yeah. burden. So unfair to Why us. Why are we doing this? So instead of getting mad at us, these guys got really <laughs> mad at BMW. And that's the way it should be. Organizer's choice was speed holes in their fabulous AMC Marlin with the big block Chevrolet motor, and I don't know whether they even had one or two of their superchargers on this time. Doesn't matter, because their theme was Blucifer. Now, Blucifer, if you've ever driven into the Denver airport, inexplicably there's this giant, like, triple life-size stallion with bright red eyes, all painted blue, <laughs> ah, like scaring people on the way into the airport. It was the creepiest goddamn thing I've ever seen. So, Phil, I think, inspired people to do Blucifer themes. There was a Blucifer penalty. All hail Lucifer. All hail Lucifer. All hail Lucifer. Yeah, you know, I was on vacation while this race was happening, and I turned over control of Lemon Social Media to Phil, and it was like nine days straight of, oh, it's Lucifer. <laughs> ah, I'm like looking on my phone like, what, what is happening? <laughs> And that just brings us to the index of effluency. Not really a whole lot to say. Number 15, Pit Stain Racing, 1980 Corolla. Push rod motor. About 80 horsepower, ran the whole weekend. Zero black flags. They are the champions. Iowa, that's all you got to do. Here's Lemons in a Nutshell.